okay, am I the man makeover of the week? Are you serious? Yeah. So you are this, I love my man, but what you mean, but? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, this segment gonna backfire on y'all, cause I'm, I'm not a good contestant. <laughs> I'm not a good, this is Steve Harvey's show. I'm sitting over here, I, uh, baby, know, I don't. I, I, I kind of felt like you were gonna probably take that position. Yeah, but baby, I told, it, when we got married, I. It's okay, um, I said I've got I a friend that, that, that deals with little situations like this, and I thought I'd ask them to come out and help me. So, could you all help me um, welcome Dr. Phil? <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Good, um... No, 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 Thank you. We need some help. <laughs> here, no, 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 I'm gonna let you sit closest, because okay. you, need, you need some right help. Here. Really? Yes, right here. yes. Oh, <laughs> you... Yeah, just shut your happy ass down. <laughs> I'll be there. Boy, I've been got good before, but this right here. Yeah. This is yeah. not. You haven't been on this side in a while, have you? How'd you get? <laughs> what the hell you doing here, man? You what got a show? Go here? do your show. <laughs> uh, I hear you out here talking all big shot. Yeah. Oh, game on. You want a piece of me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We do want a piece of you. Yes. We, we do want a piece of you. So, you know this makeover of your man? Yeah. yeah. You're the man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 And uh, she and I have been talking. I had to yeah. organize you by tabs yeah. in a notebook here. <laughs> it, it, all the th we, well, we need to go over with you. I have a whole notebook here. So, all right, what's going on with your husband? Let's just jump into it. Let him be in shock. What's going on with your husband? Oh, my God. Look, if you're ever looking for Steve, you never have to wonder where he is because there is literally a trail. When he gets home, it's his briefcase. If he's eating, it's food all over the house. And it's like, Steve, are you kidding me? Even when, when I first met him, I walked in like, is he seriously about to leave this year? I would start cleaning up. And he's like, oh, I've got a housekeeper. And it's like, honey, but she's got to come in and pick up all of this so stuff. So you had warnings. Yes, I and did. You, you, you ignored <laughs> the red flags <laughs> and you married him anyway. Yeah. Even though you went, you'd go to his place and it, it just looked mess. like a, a yard sale, it right? It did, it did. Just stuff everywhere. I'll get there. to you in a minute. So, <laughs> so you saw this ahead of time. I had the signs. Okay. All the signs were there, yeah. All right. I'm sorry. So how bad is he? I mean, seriously, how bad is he? If he grills, if he cooks, and he, he I love him to cook because it's therapy for Steve. He loves it. He and, loves... And it's delicious. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Did anybody call your name? <laughs> Did anybody call your name? <laughs> <laughs> this is... Ooh, this is I love my man butt. Yeah. Right now, you're the butt. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah, Philly, we're having a donkey man. barbecue. You're gonna yeah. furnish the ass, okay? Oh. Now, here's the, so our, here's the thing: are his bad habits rubbing off on the kids? I mean, because oh, yeah. he's a role model, right? You know, they. Well, this is the thing: you fuss at the kids when I go in, and it's like their rooms are a mess, and I'm like, Steve. This is ridiculous. There's stuff everywhere. And he goes in, he fusses at the kids. He's like, if you don't get this stuff out of here, and you better not let me catch this room looking like this again. Right. And I'm like, Steve, where do you think they're getting it from? Especially Winton. He not only looks like Steve, he behaves just like Steve. So you go in his room and it's like, Winton, so you he feel talks like you need about, to sandblast it off of the house. So he talks about his kids like he had nothing to do with who they are. Exactly. Okay, is that what we're saying here? I'm, You're I'm just asking. A bad I'm just example. asking. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. It's your turn. So what do you have to say for yourself? I told Marjorie when we first got married, I said, baby, listen to me. I'll do anything for you. I'll give you the world. Have I not done that? You have done okay, everything now, all I, over and above I what said, you said. I said, only thing I don't do, I don't clean. 
Now, I got somebody. Now, let's, let's stop faking. I got four full-time jobs. I got somebody to clean behind me. But Marjorie Absolutely. wants me to clean the stuff up before the housekeeper come. <laughs> what? No. If I do that, why are we paying her? It's a, it's, it's a reflection. Hold on. Hold on. No, this is the thing. Steve doesn't realize I'm, I'm, the, I'm the woman of the house. And if anyone comes to our house, it's a reflection on me if it's a mess everywhere. And I'm just asking you just... I'm not asking you to be just extremely neat, but just a, not quite so messy. See, I'm, I work and I provide job security. Yes. So I throw stuff down. So you're doing no. this on purpose. No, he's not. You're doing this on purpose <laughs> to create a job for someone that otherwise wouldn't be employed. Don't Out of work. That. Don't buy it. So you're trying to solve the unemployment. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm helping America get <laughs> back to work. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you call deflecting. Oh, it's absolutely. deflecting away from the issue here, which is that you are apparently a pig. Oh. You're a pig, right? Damn, Phil. Are you? Uh, he's a pig. Well, he just drops stuff. He does. She says you come. You, you don't even. You come off. You clothes be in the middle of the floor, in the middle of the room. Okay, they they do. They are because that's why I took them off at. See. <laughs> If I go in there and I got to hang all this stuff up and everything, it's got to go to the dry cleaners. So why would I hang something up that's got to go to the dry cleaners? And then why would I pick... See, I'm starting to win some people over now. No, see, I'm <laughs> saying, you, man. What's your logic about the food, though? What food? When you just leave food everywhere. I'm through eating it. OK, but, but what happens if you take something... Steve will even do something as simple as this. He'll take something out of the refrigerator and there's more food in it, and it's nothing wrong with it if he just closes the Tupperware back up and put it back in the refrigerator because it's Whoa. in the middle of the night and you're the only one that's up. Okay. We'll have it tomorrow. You may be able to come back to it, but uh, you, you leave like it out to, and it waits. Would you like me to give you some tools to solve this with? Absolutely. See, you teach people how to treat you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you teach people how to treat you. So if you say <laughs> that you're the woman of the house and people come in and you're embarrassed because you're married to somebody that looks like they're in a yard sale, then you've got to teach him how to treat you. Like when he says, hey, where's my blue sweatshirt? Well, it's right where you left it. Just don't pick <laughs> that stuff up. And then when he kind of rolls over there and gets kind of all cozied up yeah. there and gives you that, hey, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. right? Say, hey, love to. Got to go get that food you left on the nightstand. <laughs> hey, the, hey, put hey. The Tupperware <laughs> down on Hey, the I don't like this. <laughs> you teach people how to treat you. Oh. And when you choose to behave, you choose the consequences. If he Ooh. wants to leave food out there where it gets all smelly and out in the room, it, just tell him, no, I'm sorry, would love to, but I got to go, psh, I got to go put this yeah. Tupperware up to get... And then next time, he might say, oh, no, I got that Tupperware put up, so yeah. we're good to go. <laughs> all right, well, listen, this is not my show. You, did not, you didn't turn, tune in to the wrong channel. This is the Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> I've just given Marjorie some tools so she can yeah. leverage him a little bit, and we'll get a follow-up, I'm sure. Absolutely. This, 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 this is not over. And by the way, I do have a whole notebook here. This was chapter one, get him to not be a pig. <laughs> Other chapters to come, all right? <laughs> we got more with Dr. Phil. Thank you, Don. I love you. Mm, I love you, too. I ain't <laughs>